this is uh, for Slider and Tin Man and Tensa Koala and Dr. Stifler and all the guys that used to work on these crazy projects uh, going back years and years. I, I, I enjoy these projects where we get together and work on something and try to figure out what's going on. Um, it's controversial, but uh, I get a bang out of it. So anyway, this is this little uh, Slayer Exciter without the thing in it. And this is the uh, thing I showed yesterday where it doesn't have anything on the bottom. Unless you touch it, then you get, uh, I think, a ground, a better ground. And this is just a neon going off of this uh, transformer, basically. But I've got it running on a super cap here. And I wanted to show this because uh, Dr. Stifler mentioned something today about uh, how do you build a Faraday cage for capacitance. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going, but I did want to show this that uh, there was controversy about some of his experience. He was picking up stuff from a radio station or the mains or something like that. So I thought what I'd do here is I'd put this in a microwave and uh, show you that the thing uh, the thing does run in a Faraday cage, which is what this microwave oven is. There it is running on the inside there. And uh, this is basically a Faraday cage to keep the microwave from hitting you. So that's that's that. It's not getting any radio signal into it. Um, but as far as capacitance, that's the question mark. Is is it getting uh, the capacitive link back to some source other than what's on the board? So anyway, I don't know. Uh, that's just something else. And this is for Slider. And uh, he'll know what this means. <laughs> we've done so many of these crazy projects over the years and I do get a big bang out of them thanks for watching